Hello, welcome back to Tea Time in Paris. Today we will talk about Chanel shoes. Are they comfortable? Are they worth the money? How I care for them and where to get them on sale? We'll get into all of that. As you may know, I'm a huge fan of Chanel shoes. In my personal history of designer shoes, I think Chanel came pretty late. I have tried my fair share of other designer shoes like Christian Louboutin, Jimmy Choo, um, Manolo Blahnik, but none of them really worked out for me as consistently as Chanel shoes have. So for me, Louboutin shoes are a little bit too narrow for my slightly wide feet and Manolo's are too rigid. Jimmy shoes are fine but not super inspiring all the time. Chanel shoes achieve a very good balance between style and comfort for most of their more iconic shoe styles. And I think that's why I started collecting them since a few years ago. I have focused my collection on the most timeless styles, namely the ballerinas and the sling bags. To some extent, the Mary Janes as well. Today, Chanel shoes pretty much start at a thousand US dollars with some styles at two to three thousand. So you really want to make sure you're picking the styles that are not too trendy, but will stand the test of time for years and years to come. So in this respect, you can never go wrong with the ballerinas and the sling bags. These beige ones are probably the most iconic. The two-tone structure is how the shoes were initially designed by Coco Chanel and they are made by the Atelier Massaro which now belongs to the Chanel Mete Dad umbrella. So the black toe box was set to give the illusion of smaller pointier feet and the beige part of the shoes is meant to blend in with skin color to elongate the wearer's legs. This two-tone structure is so classic in the Chanel repertoire that it's present in almost all of Chanel's shoe designs. So both the sling bags and the ballerinas are very comfortable in my opinion. I've never had to break in a pair of Chanel sling bags or ballerinas. They almost always just work for me from day one. If you have to pick one style, I would recommend the sling bags over the ballerinas just because ballerinas are probably a bit more easy to find elsewhere and there are many imitations out there that cost a fraction of the price. Although there are also many dupes and imitations of the sling bags, I think they are um, a little bit harder to copy the essence of how chic and stylish these sling bags are. There's always something that looks uncomfortable with the sling bag dupes out there. Also, I find the sling bags to be very versatile in terms of dressing an outfit up or down. So because of these sling bags, I very rarely wear high heels anymore. I find these shorter block heels achieve the elegance I want quite effortlessly. They are also a lot more comfortable and practical than stiletto heels. You can wear them on any street surface and walk for a decent amount of time without worrying about getting your heels stuck um, in the pavement or getting tired because of the height. It's also a lot more French chic than stiletto heels. You've probably noticed French women almost never wear stiletto heels because they find them to be a bit too aggressive, like trying too hard. We never want to look like we're trying too hard to impress, do we? Next, we have these Mary Jane styles. One in the black and white combination and another in the black and gray combination. So the white ones, these were actually my first pair of Chanel shoes. It was love at first sight. I thought they were so emblematic of Chanel that I couldn't resist. I hesitated a lot between these and the beige slim bags as my first pair of Chanel shoes. But in the end, I picked these because the slim bags would always be there because they are classic styles. Whereas these ones were seasonal styles and would likely be gone super fast if I didn't get them. So these are again super comfortable shoes because they are not too tall and the heels are not too narrow. They've also got pretty wide toe boxes so they are really perfect for my feet. So the only reason I don't wear them more often is because they are so precious. If I get them damaged, I won't be able to replace them very easily. But comfort-wise, I can wear them pretty much all day long. 
The style also just screams Chanel so much and they make any outfit look super chic. So these black and gray ones are actually new additions from this past winter sale season. Yes, you can definitely get these cute shoes on sale if you know where and when to go. So out of my Chanel shoe collection, two of these were bought at sale seasons for 40% off. So the two pairs are the black and gray Mary Jane's and these pearly heels. I got these at sale season for 40% off. It's probably the best deal you'll ever find for Chanel shoes since these babies hold their value quite well in the pre-loved market. Sometimes you'll find that secondhand Chanel shoes cost almost as much as new ones because if you're trying to look for a specific style color, it can be very, very hard to find. For example, this tweed pattern is from the past autumn winter season. When I first saw this tweed, I just really loved it. Um, it's in the neutral color tone, which is the most uh, sought after kind of tweed in the Chanel world. And it's also got these little kind of gold sparkles um, woven into the tweed, which makes it extra special and extra festive. So if you want to find the exact same tweed pattern after the season is gone, it's probably very challenging and you will have to try your luck in the pre-loved market. In Paris, there are official sale events twice a year, usually in January and July. However, you probably won't find shoes on sale just out on display in regular Chanel boutiques. You probably have to ask a sales associate that you know to see if they have any at the back to show you. Or if shoes are what you're looking for as opposed to uh, ready to wear or costume jewelry, then you may be better off going directly to the department stores like Le Bon Marché or Pointon and visit the Chanel shoe stands. I'd imagine the system in the US are probably similar. They usually lay out all the shoes um, in the sales section for you to browse. If you go during the first couple days of the sale event, you'll be sure to find some real gems. The last piece of advice I have on Chanel shoes is that a lot of people don't know that they actually have a white size. They are denoted by the letter C. So you can see here it's 38 and a half C. The reason I mentioned this is that when I first got into Chanel shoes, I thought the slim bags weren't for me, but that was because the model out on display was the regular size or maybe even the narrow A size. So I thought that there was no way my wide feet would fit in or look good in these very narrow shoes. But the very wise essay brought out the C size for me, which I didn't even know existed. And I've been hooked on Chanel shoes ever since. So are Chanel shoes worth the price still today? To me, absolutely. But don't get me wrong, they are luxury items and need to be treated as such. So for every pair of my Chanel shoes, I wipe them down carefully after each wear. I use this premium leather lotion from Cadillac Select and a microfiber cloth. You can get both of these items off of Amazon. And I just dab a little bit of the lotion on the cloth. I even it out on a small surface and then I just wipe it give it a very gentle kind of wipe along the surface if you see any dust or stains um, be sure to kind of rub it and take it out as much as, as you can um, so this way it makes sure that the dust and stains from each wear doesn't accumulate and it gets substantially harder to get stains out if they start accumulating over a long period of time. But if you give it a light wipe after each wear, chances are they will remain pristine looking for a much longer time than you'll expect. I also use this spray. You can also get this from Amazon, by the way. Um, so this is to make sure that your shoes are kind of repellent to any uh, water or stain. But of course, you should never wear these shoes under the rain. But sometimes we can be caught in the rain unexpectedly, so this comes in pretty handy. You don't have to do this um, very often. I usually probably do it like every half a year or so, just to make sure they still have um, a bit of coating on them. And lastly, this is very important. If I'm not wearing the shoes for a long period of time, for example, if it's raining these um, couple weeks and I just know I won't be wearing my Chanel shoes, I make sure to put them in the dust bags that they came with and um, stuff them with the um, these 
uh, kind of stuffing that they came with in the original boxing and just store them away. Um, so this helps them be away from sunlight and also they are not just laying out in the open to collect dust. So again, I would never wear them outside when it's wet or when I know I'd be walking in the park on gravel. So no, they are not very carefree shoes, but they are Chanel. Please share in the comment section down below whether you love Chanel shoes as well and what your personal experience has been so far with the brand, whether you love their classic designs or you like to venture out to other styles like their sneakers, boots, or snowshoes. I personally haven't had any experience with those types of shoes uh, from Chanel, so would love to know what your opinions are and if you find them to be worth the price. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.